Here's how I turn these into these. This is all acrylic paint. I used white, pumpkin orange, black, and some gold paint. You can obviously add a little bit more black or a little bit more orange to make the color that you want. I also used the black and the white to make a really nice charcoal that I used for the eyes and the mouth of the pumpkins. Now here's the trick. You add baking soda to your paint mixture. I used almost a teaspoon for the darker tan, but then I just added a little bit here and there to the other colors. Then I got to painting. And I'm just using one of my kids' little craft paint brushes because I like the way that it added texture to the pumpkins with the brush strokes. Once you're done the first coat, add a little bit more baking soda to the paint. This will really help give it that ceramic stone look. And I added a couple darker tones to it as well. This is the charcoal gray that I added to the eyes and the mouth. And this is how I added those little shadows. Basically dipped my finger in the charcoal, dipped it in water, rubbed it in, and you always add a little bit more water to make that kind of blend into the pumpkin. Also be careful not to rub too hard or you'll chip it off. And there you go. This is how I made the pumpkins for this little project. Now, if you wanna make a stand like me, all you need is just a cheap plastic planner for the bottom, some burlap, some moss, and then you use any kind of rod that you can to stack the pumpkins on top of each other. Look, that's an old broomstick. Let me know if you have more questions.